I'm Taryn and you're watching Port Regional Gallery Online. So we're going to do another art activity today. I hope you caught last week's one. If not, you can have a look at the website and, and catch up today. So today we're doing something for Anzac Day, which will be coming this weekend. So we're going to be making poppies just out of paper. So if you've got cardboard or paper, either is fine. So the materials we're going to need is download sheet off our website which with all the instructions. I've got a sheet of red card or red paper. I've got black paper or card but you can also use normal paper and just colour it in black. That's totally fine as well. I'll show you both steps anyway. And the other materials I've got, if mum has a skewer in the drawer or dad or whoever you live with, you, get, you could use a skewer or a pipe cleaner. I've also got some sticky tape some glue if you want, um, some scissors, and a green texture, and oh, and a black texture if you need it. And that's pretty much all we need to get started. So first we're going to use our red sheet, and if you just get a glass from the cupboard, or a plastic cup, whatever you've got, and we're just going to draw some circles around it, so get your pencil handy, and trace all the way around, doesn't really matter if it's not too neat, oops. I think I need to sharpen my pencil. There we go. And another one. I'm just going to do four. You could do a few more if you wanted. Tracing around. And then one more. Easy as that. We can move our glass out of the way. Now next what we're going to do is just trim a little bit out of the bottom of each one. Like that. And then we're going to take our black texture. And on this we're going to draw some lines kind of fanning out in lots of different directions. And then do a little dot on the top of each one. And on each of your sheets. Come back and do the dots. So this is going to be the stamens, which are in the middle of our flower. Do some dots. Might make a lower one there. An extra one. Not being too neat. be enough. And then the next step is we're just going to cut them out. So taking your scissors. If you have trouble cutting you can get somebody else in your house to come and help you with this part. So we'll just cut all the way around first of each one. I'm not trying to be perfect because flowers are never exactly perfectly round so the best you can do is good. Around and around, almost there. Last one. If you want, you can make lots and lots and completely fill out your sheet because you might want to make a whole bunch of, of poppies. Or another thing you can do is if you make lots of them you could use a green piece of cardboard like that and you could cut a big circle and you could stick them all over to make a wreath. I'm just going to put this away now. And the next bit we're just going to cut out those little shapes that we cut, that we drew. So the next part is you can take a plain piece of white paper or you can take some black paper depending on what you've got at home and we're just going to cut a rectangle and then you're going to put lots and lots of little snips in it, 
little thin ones. Don't worry if you accidentally chop one off. No one's going to notice. So like that. And that's going to be the center of our flower. I tend to leave the end one just a little bit thicker just to help us hold on to something. Next step is you can take either a pipe cleaner or a stick. If you've got a stick, you might have some kebab skewers in the drawer in the kitchen, but I'm just going to colour mine in with some green texture. Do it over here so I don't draw all over my table. So you can see just colouring it in a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely green just so it doesn't look sticky. There we go. I'm just going to do a bit on the end because if I colour the very end in where I'm holding it, I'm going to end up with some green fingers. So there's that. Now the next bit is we're going to start shaping our flowers. So this bit's going to be wrapped around here, but we're going to need it to curve a little bit. So I want you to start with your fingers, just twisting it around. You can also, if you wanted, use your pencil and curve it around the pencil a little bit, sort of just sort of get the shape going. And then what we're going to do is you can see the petals here, they're all scrunched. Poppies have really textured petals, so we don't want them to be nice and flat like that. We want to give them lots and lots of textures. So you can get your fingers and do lots and lots of scrunching and folding until it gets all nice and warm. And you're going to do that for each of them. Lots of scrunching. Scrunch it up in a ball, throw it around the room, go pick it up again. So you like that, and then we're going to fold that back out. So it's important that this bit folds out, but this bit stays like that. So you're going to do that for each of yours, scrunching all the other ones. You could give it to a little brother and sister and say, go scrunch that up for me. I'd love to help out. There we go, here's another one. My pencil and curl it around a little bit. That's a really scrunched one. Next one. Scrunching again. Kind of feels nice to be able to scrunch something up. If you've got crepe paper at home, if your mum's, mum or dad or who you live with ever got wrapping paper left over that's red, you could use that too. Lots of different materials you could use to make these. Alright, there's my scrunched flowers. So once you've done that, the next bit will be taking this. You can use some sticky tape or some glue. I'm just going to use some sticky tape for the moment. Only a tiny little bit. Two little tiny bits. And we're going to take our stick and fold it over. And just put a little bit of tape. See, I'm taking the tape over the stick just a little bit to hold it into place. And then you start to twirl. Going around and around. Do I keep it works its way down the stick a little bit? Like that. And then taking my second piece of tape and sticking that on. Like so. And then what I want you to do is just fold all these little bits out just a little bit. Like that. And then you're going to start doing your leaves. So you're going to go one first, and similar to what we just did, you're going to wrap it around with a little bit of tape. Sometimes it helps if you have a couple more little bits of tape all ready to go, otherwise you might get your hands a bit full. I'm taping that bit first, and then I'm going to start wrapping that petal around. And once you've wrapped it, you're then going to flatten it out and let it fold out a little bit. Like that. And then a second bit of tape. There you go. Tape it on. And then you're going to keep going with all your other petals. So one at a time until each one wraps around the edge of your stick. Like so. And then you will end up with this. Feel free to send us in some photos of which ones you've, what you've created from home. Love to see what you've come up with.